Hey, this is Ed Rigsby. It's time for another cigar review. Today I've got something a little different. Today, as you can see, I've got just kind of a little one. This is a Monte Cristo. Now, Monte Cristos are usually pretty lightweight cigars. If you've ever had one, you know what I mean. They're not real heavy. So, this is something new. This is... I can get it out of the wrapper. There we go. This is the Monte Cristo Platinum Series. Now, the Monte Cristo Platinum Series is interesting because of the fact that the wrapper is a Mexican Cubano wrapper. Um, and then the inside filler, the leaf, is Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peru. 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 I can't even say it. It's from Peru. Anyway, um, and so if you look at it, it's got a nice, um, it, it's got a nice construction. Looks pretty good. Now, for you regular Monte Cristo smokers, you know, you probably don't do a lot of heavy liquors with your Monte Cristo because they're light. But what I've selected for this because, oh, and also, by the way, two other points. This is from the Dominican Republic. And last year, Cigar Aficionado rated this at a 94. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I thought today might be an awesome try is Dad's Hat. There we go. Pennsylvania Rye Whiskey. Now, this is small craft. Now, according to what it says here on the label, it says it's aged a minimum of six months in new oak quarter barrels, or quarter cast barrels. Quarter means they're smaller. So supposedly, I guess, what they're saying is because there's more, um, more wood per ounce versus the big barrels, it probably ages quicker. I don't know. Um, also, it says on this that, um, that um, Pennsylvania is the birthplace of rye whiskey. I didn't know that either. And um, it's 90 proof, so it's 45% alpha So this is going to be a little stronger than normal. So I think what we'll do, open this guy up, give it a shot. Hmm. Nice smell, nice clean. You can smell the grain, smell the rye in it. So let's pour a little. Okay, let's close up the top so a bird or a bug doesn't fly in this thing on me. Let's get, uh, let's get ye old cigar cutter. Uh, if you watch my reviews, you know I always prefer a V cutter. Give that a little bit in here, where you see it goes here, and that little V thing comes and cuts, so you don't have to put it all the way. And what I have, there we go, that's nice. There you go. So I've got a nice V cut in it, and the idea is with the, um, it cut in here, I'm not, this part, and this part is keeping the uh, loose tobacco on the inside from touching my tongue, which is not something that I really enjoy. Maybe you do, but I don't like it. Um, I'm going to take off the uh, lower wrapper just because it's going to get in my way. And again, in case you forgot, this is a Monte Cristo. It's their Let's see if we can get you to where you can read it. It's their Platinum Series. And the whole idea is this is a, probably it's probably the heaviest of all the um, um, Monte Cristo cigars out there because most of them are pretty light. We'll take the four burner lighter. You're going to like this thing. I like to toast it, which means I hold it like this, let it get warmed up, I'm not going to draw on it for just a little bit. Let the whole end of the cigar get warm. You notice I'm not cramming the cigar into the lighter because if you cram the cigar into the lighter, there's a sensor in there. The cigar is going to, with its, with its sensor hot, the cigar, the cigar is going to bend it and then your lighter is not going to work. Nice, easy draw. Very nice. So, it
Now this cigar, to my dismay, is just a little bit wet. When I opened up my humidor and I saw my digital readout said it was 78% humidity, I go, oh, I guess I put too much uh, liquid in there. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna burn a little slower because of the fact that it's not quite as dry. Usually you want it run, you want your cigar around 70% humidity. So, because of my mistake, letting my humidor have just a teeny bit too much humidity, I have to put a little extra work in it. Now, you see it's, I'll put it over here so you can get a better view. The ash is starting to look nice. Now let's try a little bit of the Dad's Hat. Dad's Hat Pennsylvania Rye Whiskey. What do you think? Well, Ed, I think it's pretty good. Whoa, okay, I finally got that aftertaste. Oh, oh sh <laughs> Jeez. It took a couple seconds, and all of a sudden, finally, the finish was like, oh, there it is. That's rye. So, with the Dominican and the Nicaraguan and the Peruvian filled, long, long leaf uh, filler, and with the Mexican Cubano wrapper, this is going to be a, a much more bold cigar, as I said earlier, than any other Monte Cristo that you're probably used to, uh, to smoking. Yep. Interesting thing is while it's very flavorful, it's not harsh. So if you're a cigar smoker, that say you've been smoking cigars for a while and you've been smoking a lot of lighter cigars, a lot of um, what... Uh, uh, what somebody might call, you know, starter or Connecticut wrapper, a little bit lighter in, um, in, in color that, that are not quite as bold, and you want to move up. Now, this is a notch over medium, but um, it's not quite as heavy as some of the other cigars that I've reviewed in the past. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty good cigar. Now let's get back to the uh, the Dad's Hat Pennsylvania Rye. Get another taste of this. See if I'm gonna see. I like to go back and forth to see does the rye ta change the taste of the cigar, or does the cigar change the taste of the rye? Get the grain, get the mash, kind of getting that. Now I'm getting the, that rye mash taste. And the second, um, the second taste, the finish was not quite as, um, not quite of a, a, a shocking after finish. So back to the question, does this affect the taste of this or does this affect the taste of this? I guess it's kind of like which came first, the chicken or the egg. But people with much finer palates than me talk about how various uh, spirits will change how you taste a cigar. This is a strong enough spirit, at least I think it is, to be able to hold up with the cigar. So my recommendation was go pick up yourself some Monte Cristo Platinum Series. If your retailer doesn't have them, um, you can always go online I buy a lot of cigars from cigarsinternational.com and good company, not, I don't get anything from them. So, you know, but I, I buy a lot of cigars from them. The prices are very fair. If you get on their, um, their email, um, they're always sending you updates when they have sales and things like that. I honestly don't remember what I paid for these, but um, whatever I paid for them, they're pretty good. And I'll tell you honestly, I have no clue how much the dad's hat cost because I brought it home from uh, Denver. Was it la yeah, last summer I brought it home from Denver with me. 
we had a big um, charity party there and this was left over. Probably have to say thank you, Joe Corsillo. He was probably the one that brought it. Um, so my guess is it's somewhere around the, the $40, $50 range. I think I was looking at it at uh, Total Wine & More a couple years ago. Yep, pretty smooth cigar. It's burning, it's starting to canoe on me. If you see the burn here, see how it's just getting a little uneven? I'll let that go for a couple of minutes, but eventually what I'm gonna to have to do to keep this thing, because it's canoeing just a smidge, on the opposite side, I'm gonna to have to put a little fire on it to keep it smoothed out. Sometimes people get smoking a cigar and starts canoeing. And what a canoe is, is when it burns a lot on one side and then the other side kind of bends up and it looks like a canoe. Great draw, very easy. Some cigars are rolled um, a little bit tight. I mean, I've actually, I've had Monte Cristos from Cuba that were rolled so tight, I had to throw them away. Tried putting a, a rod through it to, to open it up, but end up just throwing them away. Just, they're worthless. But this is quite a good scar. Good draw. Good construction. You see a little bit of a vein. Let's see if I get this. You do see a little bit of a vein. See that vein there in the, uh, but that's not a big deal. So get yourself a Monte Cristo Platinum Series. See if you can find some dad's hat Pennsylvania rye and have a party in your mouth. Well, let me have a party in my mouth before I sign off. Very good. Hey, till the next time, smoke healthy.